Hi, Hollywood Lifers. It's Bonnie, and I'm here today with Vicki Ziegler, and she is a top family attorney here in New York City. And we're going to talk about the Justin Bieber paternity case with Mariah Yater. I thought Justin was very credible when he went on the Today Show today, mm -hmm. and I thought that if you were his lawyer, yes. would you have advised him or allowed him to do that if you weren't 100% convinced that he that he was wasn't innocent? No, Bonnie, never. You always ask your clients from the onset. Did you do it? You have to know how to defend them, especially when you're such a mega superstar like Justin Bieber. You need to know, actually, if he unequivocally has never met this woman and never had relations with her and never was intimate, then at least you know confidently he can go on the Today Show and go to any news outlet and deny it. If you don't or there's a question, you never let your clients talk, ever. He probably will have to take a DNA test. Now, why is that? The hurdle and the legal level to show that somebody actually potentially could be a parent is very low. If you come into the court and you say, listen, I met Justin Bieber, we did have sexual relations, he might be the father, the court is gonna not take testimony at that time. They may say, not a problem, we're gonna go forward and we're gonna order the test. How can she prove mm -hmm. that she met him? It's her word against his. Right, and unfortunately in family law, because that's what it is, it's in the family court, People can say, we spoke, we had conversations, I met him after a show, but I don't have proof. But it's my word under oath. I certify to the fact that I met him and had sex with him. The court will take that at face value. He was always surrounded mm -hmm. by people. Right. I can't imagine him having a moment where he could be alone with this young woman. So what if, what if all the people around him, his mother, mm -hmm. his manager, they all swear mm -hmm. under oath that he was with them and never left their sight right. on the night that supposedly this happened. Could that um, be used mm -hmm. to uh, get him out of having a DNA test, no matter what she says? I always question people go to the bathroom because a lot of these celebrities and um, uh, singers, you know what, they have these groupies and these people that follow them. And sometimes they always say, you know, we don't do anything when people are around. We do it in the bathroom because it's a private place. I'm not saying that's what happened here, but that's just one well, of that's those. that's what she says happened. One, a woman here is saying that she had sexual relationships with Justin Bieber. Justin Bieber says he's never met her. How do we make that determination? How, as the trier of fact, how can I determine what really happened? Do the DNA test. That's gonna prove actually what happened. Let's say he does have to do the test. Mm -hmm. He's not the father, as we suspect, and what happens to her? Is she going to be liable for anything? Mm -hmm. Can she be charged with anything? In California, I do believe you can be charged with lying to police. Um, I mean, at this point, she if she has never met Justin Bieber at all, and she actually is, and he's not the father. I think she can be. She could actually go to jail for up to two that's years. That's what we've been told. And that, you know, that's a well, that's serious stuff. If in fact she did meet him, and it's proven that they did have some type of interaction, maybe she did believe that he was the father, and she may not be charged. So really, we're going to have to see how the facts. But then she apparently could be charged with having sex with an underage person. Statutory. Rape. Yeah, apparently. Um, which, so it's a no-win situation right. as you said usually the motives are money here mm -hmm. yeah. um, we can't totally guess but uh, I thank you for giving us this insight we at Hollywood Life believe that Justin Bieber is innocent and uh, I think that you pointing out how his lawyer would have advised mm -hmm. him I think helps add to that case so thank you so much Vicki thank you Bonnie bye